Hello, this is a, a tutorial on how to edit the Southern Dirt website. First of all, we need to log into the website. So what we need to do is scroll down to the right hand side and find the login box on the website. Enter your details. First of all, enter your username. and your password. These will be sent to you in a separate email. Once you've done that, click the login button. Once you've logged in, the page will reload and you'll see a few extra elements on the website. First of all, you will see this edit item above each and every article. Now let's have a look at this first article. That's the, that's the Grazing Crops Workshop. If you wanted to edit this page or this item, we just click Edit Item. Now within this, the page will then reload and bring up this box. You can change various things on the, on the website, such as the title, the description, and the image and any attachments, all in this one section. So if you wanted to change the, um, the title to Grazing Crops Workshop Today, we we'll just type in Today there. We then click Save and the page will reload and that would be the new title. If you wanted to change the, the text on the page, all you need to do is edit in, within this section here. It's just like in Word, you can um, highlight something, underline something, or make it bold. Now if you wanted to change or add a new image, you just click Image. Here is the current image. If you wanted to delete this image, you would have to click this box and click Save. To upload a new image, you select Choose File and you would find the appropriate image from your computer to upload. Just like how you would um, add an image on Facebook or would attach an, an image in an email. You can also add the option of adding a PDF. There might be a, um, a bit more information about the event that you want to um, be able to add as a PDF. So you just click this attachments tab, you scroll down and click Add Attachment. You click this button that says Choose Field. You'd find the, um, the PDF you wanted to add, select it, and then click Open. Once again, once you've, you've done this, you can always just scroll up to the top of the page and click Save. Now let's close this box, as we don't want to change anything on the current website. But we may want to add a new item to a category. Now you can add new items across the site, but let's have a look. Um, let's go to the event section. Let's add a, a new item to the event section. So we click on the events. Once again, we can see all the items which are currently there. Once again, we can al always click on this button, edit item, to change any of that text that is within those sections. But this time we want to actually add a new article or a new item to the event section. So um, let's say there's a potato fair next week. So we click add a new item in this category. We want to title the event. Let's call it potato fair. We select a category. So this is the page that this um, this will appear on. So um, we want it to appear on the event section, so we click events. Now we want to write a little bit of information about the event.
and we may also want to just add an image about the, of the event so let's we click the image tab select choose file now you'd select a, an image from the from the um, from your computer and click save now you need to wait a few seconds while the uh, while the image gets added to your post within the extra field section you can actually um, place the date time location and a link to the event if you want to and you can also on the attachments field add an attachment by selecting the file and uploading it. So let's just save that. Let's give let's give it a date actually. So let's go to extra fields and let's say the event date is um, this on the 26th of October at and it's all day. So we just type all day location. And we may want a, an, a URL for the address. We click Save. The page will then reload. You can close this. And we'll see the event here. So here's the potato fair, the description, the event time, the location, and the link. So that's how you would add a new item to, to the website. So we've now just covered two items. That's how to edit an item on the website and, and how to add a new item onto the website. So this works for um, all the pages. So if you want to um, go to the news section, you click latest news. You add a new item to the latest news. You call it the title. You choose seven the latest news and write your description. Add an image and then add an attachment. The latest news section doesn't actually have a date or a time specific specified, uh, but the event section does. So let's just log out. So when a user visits your site, they can click on an article. They will see the picture, the information. They'll also be able to uh, tweet this out on their Twitter page or like this on their Facebook page or add it to their Google and they also have the ability to actually add a comment onto the page so they would enter their details here their their name their email address and their website URL and fill in this um, this form just to make sure that it's not spam so that ends our tutorial of the Southern Dirt website if you do have any questions then please don't hesitate to contact me it's Keith Fletcher and the email address is info at oceanwebsitedesign.com.au um, I hope you found this um, tutorial useful but if you do have any questions then always come back to me